president just by happenstance was asked a question by a citizen, would you send your kid to D.C. public schools? He said, you know, no, I wouldn't. And he said, I could manipulate the system like some people and, and get a, my kid in the right public school. And there are some good public schools, but by and large, you know, they don't work for, for all kids. And I wouldn't send my kids to, to D.C. public schools. But what we need to do is make sure, he said, I have that choice. we got to make sure that low-income families in D.C. have that choice. And I just thought that was hypocritical. How can you say, you, you acknowledge you have the power to choose for your children, and then you played a role, and, and the, the, the poor families in D.C. need to have the same choice, and then you played a role in taking away that choice. I just don't think that's right, and I don't care who you are. I mean, and I, I respect you and love you as, as, as the first black president, but you can't take away that, that those, those kids' vision and their hope and their dreams and then say, I, you know, I, I want them to have it. I, and so, yeah, I wrote a letter, and then, you know, this I'm chair of the Black Alliance for Educational Options, and, you know, our board supported, and we decided to run this letter. And, and when we talk about the neediest of needy families, we're talking about a family of four in D.C. with a combined family income of less than $50,000. I mean, so they're, they're living in dire straits in this city, and there's no way they can afford scholarship, I mean, tuition of, of, of a few hundred dollars a year, much year, much less several thousand. The president gets in office, and, you know, he's pushing charter schools, but we know that the union was telling him, whatever you do, you can't support vouchers. And they decide they were going to end this program. And the, the, the sad irony is that one week, 216 families in D.C. got a letter saying their kid was accepted in the program. A couple of those kids were going to be in Sidwell Friends. We know at least one or two families are going to be in class with the president's daughters. So their families are so excited that they're going to go to these, they've got scholarships. And then the president and Duncan get in and within two weeks of getting a letter of acceptance, they get a letter saying the program's going to be ended. So we, we know that 216 families that were going to get scholarships to schools like Sidwell Friends and Gonzaga and you know Georgetown Day and St. Albans and Landon and all these schools, that all of a sudden the program's taken away. And you know, we, 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 we tried to reach out to Secretary Duncan, we had rallies, you know, I tried to get arrested, they wouldn't arrest me. And you know, so we, we did all these things. A majority of the city council signed a letter supporting it, Mayor Fenty supported it. Um, and you know, but Congress you know, side with the president in, in the program. So I, I'm less worried about what all the stirring of the pot will lead to. I just know as long as kids are being educated, we all will benefit. And the ultimate learning environment is going to be totally different from what we're used to. And, and we can't be afraid of that. Our fear is holding us back and stopping us from doing what's best for these kids. You know, let the Joe Kleins and, and the woman in Boston who they say is doing a good job, and Michelle Rees, let them sort that out. But you know, the reason why I support you know, anything that's going to help a child learn, it's like the Malcolm X line, by any means necessary. The reason why I'm for I'm for home schools, homeschooling, I'm for virtual schools, specialty schools, magnet schools, vouchers or scholarships, tax credits, charter schools, traditional schools, private schools, religious schools, all this stuff I'm for if it's going to help a kid learn. Now, if any of those things don't help a kid learn, I'm against it. See, I, I just view it as a pure, pure, you know, equation, yes or no. So you say there, if there comes a time when vouchers no longer work, then... Get rid of it. Okay, but I mean, that, that time is not yet. It's not yet because too okay. many kids aren't learning. I mean, if we get to 90, 90% of these kids, you know, at grade level, then we can say, okay, now, what can we, let's look back and, 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 and say, and, 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 and analyze what helped get us to this point and how can we do this to scale to the benefit of, of, of America's school children. And, uh, but it's far too early to, 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 to start talking about what the end result's going to look like. It's far too early.